As a mom of four young kids who talks a ton about the mental load, you know that I know how hard it is to prioritize yourself and find time for yourself. And so hair is an area that I've actually been dedicated to find more time for this year. And when I say more time, I mean like 30 minutes a week, really not much more than that because I don't have time for it. Um, in the mornings, I'm doing four heads of hair because I have four kids and I just don't have time to be worrying about my hair. So this is what I do. I wake up at 6 a.m. I put rosemary oil in my hair on my wash days. I only wash my hair twice a week-ish, every four days, give or take. And so I put this in, I rub it all over my scalp, I let it sit there. And I've been doing that just to help with hair growth because I've been postpartum two times in the last two years and because I get the craziest dry scalp in the winter. And so I'm looking to combat that in any way I can and this has really been helping. Sometimes I sleep in it overnight. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I like it and it's pretty good. From there, obviously I just do your normal wash and condition in the shower. I use a volumizing like line from verb and then I let it dry or I blow dry it depending on the day and then I style it and so once it's fully dry I style it I style it once a week I style it on the day that I washed it this is you're seeing me style it it's not very fancy hmm. I did not mention it obviously I use a heat protectant I also use a bit of like a volumizing dry shampoo spray I don't put it on my scalp um because of the dry itchiness, um, but I put it on my hair, so hopefully that it holds the curl a little bit better and a little bit longer. And as you can see, there's no real method to the madness. I section my hair into, I guess, technically six sections, and then I just tackle it that way. But I've been doing this since high school, college. I don't use a fancy um, curling iron, really. This is a Conair I've had for a very long time. I do have a beach waver, which I like, but um, I typically go with my Conair, and I think it's solely because I know how to use it and I use it often. So there's that and then I spray and then I let it sit. Um, so this is just kind of what I do and here's the thing. Prioritizing yourself is really hard to do as a mom and especially if you're the parent who holds the majority of the mental load and domestic labor, it's hard to find time just even to get dressed every single day. And this is something that I do for myself because one, my hair has been through a lot after having kids and two, it makes me feel better. You know how some people say like, oh, I feel better if I put a lip on. I feel better if my hair looks okay. And I'm not saying it has to look great, but if it looks okay, then I feel a lot better. I feel more presentable. I just feel like a human being. And so if I can do something that makes me feel that way, then I'm going to do that. And so that's how I do it. Also, when I'm doing this, you can see all my regrowth. Like, it's so bad. These little baby bangs, I hide those in there. But don't worry, guys. They're there. They exist. I have lost all the hair just like you. Here's the final product. I brushed it out. This is what, what you saw in the video the other day, guys. Um, it does have some shine on day one. I will say it gets frizzier as the week goes on. But, like, to be expected, I need to start sleeping with, like, a silk pillowcase, which I'm not good about doing. But, um, yeah, I think the oil has made a huge difference. Washing my hair less frequently has made a huge difference. And then I only style it with heat once or twice a week max. And that also obviously helps just limits the breakage. And yeah. So if you're like me and you have no time because you have four kids and all the things to do, this is what I do. 30 minutes on one day saves me so much time the rest of the week. And apparently it looks okay. So that's great. <laughs>